<laughs> Alright, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content, and let's get right into it. NBA 2K21. Yo, I ain't gonna lie to y'all, man. I owe y'all an apology. Hey, the guys was right. Your boy Badgie Pluggy was right. But, you know, it is what it is, man. We're gonna get into that right there. Also, bro, 2K, y'all got... This is something. It absolute, Bro, the patch, the patch, the patch. We need the patch, bro. It has to be dropped immediately. We cannot go through this weekend with this game on patch. And I'm going to tell y'all why after this, man. So if y'all do nothing else, man, make sure y'all like the video. Because every time y'all like the video, it helps me get more views. And, and thus, we get to grow to that oh-so-coveted 100K, man. But like I said... That's, instead of talking about it a whole lot, man, let me let me ask y'all this before we get over there. Uh, like the video first, but tell me what is your worst? What do you lose the most games to in 2K? You lose the most games to error codes, or do you lose the most games to just people just uh, BS, or do you just lose the most games to people just straight up? You don't run into a whole lot of BS. Let me know what y'all think down in the comment section, and I'm gonna get right into it. Make it to C25, that's OG status I was told you could be anything, just don't be average Down bad, flat pipes, that shit made me upset Start hustling non-stop, don't plan on breaking that head Alright man, so first off bro, let me tell y'all something I owe everybody, everybody, even Badgie Plugin, all the peoples Anybody who said that 2K does not run in 60 F, I mean don't run in 120 FPS You're right! Being a YouTuber means sometimes you got to say that I was wrong, you all were right, I thought this was the case, and it wasn't the case. Sometimes that's what you got to do as a YouTuber, man. Instead of just running to the next game and saying that, instead of telling everybody that, you know, interior and ankle braces and all this stuff don't matter, and you know what I'm saying, saying stuff don't matter, and then when you get proven wrong or that's no longer the case, you just run to another game and say the game was trash. I'm just saying I was wrong. I'm not going to avoid it. I'm not going to do any of that stuff. And let me tell you why I thought that the game ran into 120. Because Xbox actually said that there are some games that if it runs in 60, it's going to upscale it to 120. And I thought the 2K was one of them. I went back and looked at the deal, and 2K ain't one of them. It's only like the Xbox X rule, Xbox games that it'll upspin to, to 120, like Gears of War, but that's one of the games that I play and stuff like that. I went back and looked at Apex Legends. Apex Legends has an overlay that it shows you what it's running in. It's running in 60, and my counter's still saying 120. My, my um, uh, what you call it? My counter was still saying 120, and my, uh, my, um, uh, my hardware was still saying 120. So, just like somebody in the comment section says, the refresh rate of the console for consoles is independent from the actual frame rate. Now, if you're using it on the PC, like if you guys, I know we got a lot of PC users out there. If you're a PC user, that's not the case. If you have a full screen application, unless you turn VSync off, the refresh rate of your monitor will be identical to the frame rate on, you know, the frame rate at which the game is running. So like if you got a 60 Hertz monitor, then that's what the game is gonna run at. It's gonna change it to 60 hertz or 60 FPS, unless you turn V-Sync off or free sync or what have, whatever you wanna do. Um, same thing, uh, if you put it in full screen window, then you can break that cap. If you put it, if you turn V-Sync off, you can break that cap. But I tested game after game after game yesterday, and I even went back to Modern Warfare Who on the Xbox 360, and you know damn well the Xbox 360 emulator is only running max, max 60 FPS. And it was saying 120 on my thing. So like somebody said in the comment section, it is like you'll get a you'll get a little bit better picture. It'll seem like it's smoother or what have you. But the game itself is natively running in um in 60 FPS. Just like how we got, you know how you got uh how sometimes like like uh last generation people would be like, well, the game running in 720p, I'm in 720p. Yeah, you're you're watching the game in 720p, but the game natively was in like uh was in like 400p or 600p or something like that it was it was something crazy and then they was upscaling it no 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 i think some of the games were like 900p and they were upscaling them to 1080 or what have you that was in last generation at the beginning when the machines weren't strong enough now the machine's strong enough it ain't no damn excuse for 2k to not be running in 120 man i'm not even gonna cap to you now i'm not gonna fake outrage or anything like that but i am just saying I was wrong. I'm not even going to lie to you. I'm mad enough to say when I was wrong. I looked at it. Uh, somebody said, hey, you might want to check your research. I went back. I looked at it more extensively. I was just dead ass wrong. And I, I was just dead wrong. And I apologize to y'all 
for uh, and anybody if I flamed you in the comment section or something I don't think I did maybe I flamed one person but I really didn't flame them I just said you know you got to explain it to me but as more and more people said it you know I, hey I'm just dead ass wrong now if we could get some of these YouTubers to come out and say I was just dead ass wrong about interior and strength and stuff like that and I told y'all about this bullshit that bill and, and, and you know what I'm saying? Then maybe they can come back and stop hating on the game. But uh, other than that, up next, man, listen, man. We, we're speaking of, we, we got to get a patch, bro. We have to get a patch for this game. Puma Mania is up this weekend. Fader Mania, I mean, Puma Mania is up this weekend, bro. Like I said, let me know what y'all lose the most games to in the comment section. Do you lose the most games to error codes? Do you lose it to Fades? Because Fades is really gone. Or do you lose a lot of your games straight up? Or would you say it's 50 50? Me? I'm gonna say most of the games we lose are uh, probably the error codes. I'm not even gonna lie. If I lose 10 games a week, six of them are to error codes. I'm not even gonna lie. And like, we don't even lose a lot of games, but you know, some of them, they just beat us. Sometimes they fade. Probably three of them are they're fading right now. And then, you know, three of them, they probably beat us straight up. Three of them, they probably uh, faded. And then the rest of them are error codes. So tell me, tell me, if you lose 10 games in a week, what what are you losing them to? But look, bro, we gotta get this thing done. Puma Mania, you expecting people to be on this game all weekend. You're expecting people to be on the game and forego Valentine's Day, get in trouble with their significant other, all just to grind this doggone trash game. And just to lose games to error codes. Like I said, like the, the, the gameplay stuff, we done beat that to death. We, we said it at nauseam and all that. But bro, a lot of the issues with the game is we can't even play this mother man we can't like i want to play it i want to get in here i want to play it. that's what they be talking about about the momentum behind the back it's not this serious of a deal he just got me on that one but it's not that serious as far as the gameplay mechanics like we can we gotta we can we can get those after y'all get the face but these error codes uh being jesus being uh jesus uh under the water like loading in on the water not being able to load in the park corrupted files that are not corrupted all of this stuff bro we got something has to be done about it in a timely fashion expeditiously my like for real like if we don't get this done fader mania is gonna be crazy it's gonna be trash bro like we, we're really not gonna be able to have fun because not only are you gonna be struggling like you already know a million people are gonna be on for this double rep uh triple rep and the four times rep on monday but the thing is this if we don't get a chance if, if we can't even play the game what is it that we can do like we don't care about like we can get around all the other stuff in the game. Like we can figure it out. We we done figured out defense. We done figured out the interior. We figured out a lot of this stuff that's in the game. We figured it out, bro. But what we can't figure out is the error codes and getting kicked out of the game. Now a lot of people say it don't really happen that much on uh, PlayStation. Does corrupted file not happen that much on PlayStation either? Like what's the biggest issue on PlayStation? Because like I said, on Xbox, our biggest thing is we can't even play this mother. Like that's 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 being completely honest with you. Like I want to be able to get in here, get on Puma Mania, get this patch done immediately. You know what I'm saying? A A S A P. Let's get the patch done as soon as we can, and whenever we get it done, then we can play the game, and I feel like we can see what we really got. And once they get that in the page straightened out, then we can see what we really got. We can see how bad the game really is, and all of that stuff, and and what we really need to go from there. But I'm kind of afraid because if we're already down to the end of the of the cycle, like we already know they're working on 2K22 right now. But you know, I think they work on on a two year cycle anyway. So I think they got half the team working. It's kind of like Call of Duty. They got half the team working on it on this cycle. They got half the team working on it on the um on the other one, and then the one that works on the next game. So let's say right now. If they're working on 2K22, right? The team that worked on 2K20, they're gonna be start. They're gonna start working on 2K23 pretty soon. But they gotta patch this game until, you know, until whenever. And then when 2K22 comes out, they'll start working on 2K23. Or maybe they're working on 2K. You know, like it's a two-year cycle. You understand what I'm saying? Because it'll be. 2K23, y'all know what I'm saying. I just feel like it's two year cycle. That's why I've been saying like, like 18, 20 and 18 were very similar. 19 and 21 are very similar. 19 and 20, uh, 19 and 17 were similar. 16 and 18 were, see, you see what I'm saying? So that's what I'm thinking, but bro, we gotta get this patch. Like I said, me and Brute right here, we was playing, we had Cool Dre and all that, and everything was good. Like, but that was one of the hardest games for no reason, because in Puma Mania, like, it's just gonna be tough, man. But like I said, hopefully they can get this thing patched. We gotta get it patched. Hopefully we can get it done by the weekend. Mike, please, bro. 
please, I know that you are at, I know that you're at the, the, the behest of a bureaucracy. You're at the mercy of the bureaucracy. I know this. I know that there's not a whole lot that you can do. I know that, I, look, I wanna believe in my heart of hearts, in my gym star heart of hearts, that you want to fix the game. You need this game fixed. This is not your vision and you wanna get it out and the bureaucrats won't let you do it because it, I, like they told us back in Gears of War, Clippy B was like, look, it takes $50,000 to get a patch approved every time we wanna do a patch. So it's not necessarily that we don't have the money, but the higher ups, they are not, they, you know, they just ain't going for a patch every week willy nilly like that. So there's like, you know, try to cram everything into as and you know, into the patch that you can or what have you. But we need a patch now. We ain't had one since December, bro. It's only what, three patches in this game? Four patches? And I think y'all get like six a year or at least six a year or something like that. Bro, can we please, please get this thing out? I know you want to get it out. I know that it's not your fault. And that, like I said, like they say, they, they see that y'all are making money. They're like, if, they, if we making money, then what's the problem? But y'all are saying, this is not my vision. And they like, it's not our problem. We just want that money. I get it. But man, whatever you can do, please, please, let's get this patch out before the weekend so we can get Fader Mania, I mean, Puma Mania popping and that we can get into games and we don't have the hardest part of the weekend be us trying to join our friends and get into the game. Like I said, man, let me know what y'all take. How many times before we all get up out of here, how many times does it normally take for you to be able to join your friend in the game? Is it two or three? Or do you get in most of the time right off the bat? I think for us, it's probably two to three times or what have you, but now it's gotten better in the recent times. But the main thing is that we can't, you know what I'm saying? The main thing for us is that uh, it's that uh, spawning on water stuff. So once you get past five corrupted, you spawning on water. I don't know, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section, man. Do we need this patch for the weekend? Can we even survive? Can the game survive? Bro, it was so bad last time. I went through those three days of Fader Mania. I literally had, me and T had to take a week off from the game. I couldn't even play it. I couldn't even play it anymore because my brain was mush. I've been defending stuff like fades and screens and curry slide and sprint to the right. I've been, I've been, I've been defending that so much. I said, bro, I need time off. I end up taking a week off the game. I ain't never took a week off of 2K. That's how bad it was. So hopefully we can get this right and uh, we'll, we can get it popping, man. And everything will be good. If y'all want to call a duty video, I got a video where I went like 49 last night. Boy, I was whooping so much. I was, boy, I was whooping so much. It wasn't making no sense. But I'm hollering y'all next time. Y'all want that? Let me know down in the comment section. I'm hollering y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK of the People's Channel. Guys, please, guys, please.